Hey guys, it's Denali. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a full-time online clothing reseller on websites like eBay, Poshmark, and so much more. You can find me on Instagram as El Ducho Thrift. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the button down below. And if you enjoy me or this content, give me a thumbs up before you leave today. I'm back with a video that I haven't done in so long, which is a thread up rescue box unboxing. Now, I think the last one I did was probably one of their designer boxes, which has changed so much in the time that I did my last video, but you should go check it out because I believe my last one was a total hot mess and I will link it somewhere here for you. They've got so many more <laughs> different types of boxes. And so I went on the website and I had some credit and I was like, okay, let's do this. Like, let's buy a box. So the one that I purchased is DIY like scrap fabric, something like that. Let me know if you've purchased one or what your experience with it has been. I kind of looked at a couple YouTube videos and it looks kind of interesting what people got. So I thought I would just give it a try. I don't have any expectations for it. I think the box cost me $30 for 10 pounds, if I'm remembering off the top of my head correctly. And I will put a link down below for ThreadUp if you're interested in checking it out. So let's get into it. I started to open this yesterday and I opened it up and I was like, what the heck is this? And I was like, because I often reclaim items. I still send stuff into ThreadUp. So I was like, what are they sending me back? So yeah, DIY scrap fabric. Here's the little whatever that they sent me some tissue paper that I can reuse. Okay, so right off the top, uh, it's really colorful and it doesn't look like scraps. It looks like clothing. So let's see what we got. I have no expectations, guys. So I'm gonna be happy with whatever. First thing appears to be a dress and I don't know what brand it is. I don't see a tag. I think it's tagless. It's a size small. It's just a tagless dress. I'll probably run it through Google Photos later and see what it might be but it just says cotton spandex mix. There's no RN number, you know, maybe just like a little boutique dress. Okay, next item looks like it's a t-shirt or something. Also, just a size small and it's a purple button down dress. This looks like the like sort of garments that you can buy on Amazon, just like the unbranded garment. Well, I love purple, so <laughs> that won't fit me, but it's a real cute dress. It, obviously, if you're interested in any of this stuff, reach out to me. My email is in the description for you. Okay, this is cute. I've seen dresses like this. It's a dress, right? The brand is Lapis, which I've seen this before. So there we go. We finally have a brand. It's a one size fits all. And it's got this really pretty like what seashell print on here. Cute. All right, what's next? It is some sort of maxi dress. Oh, it's the brand Karen Kane, which I think, do they sell this at Kohl's? It's a size small maxi dress. I think like everything's been a size small so far. Oh, I see. There's a little bit of a flaw right there. So that's probably why they called it DIY scrap fabric or whatever. The next item has the prettiest print. Look at this. It's little birdies. I don't know what it's gonna be. Okay, again, it's just a no name brand. I mean, it's got some script here and size large, but this is adorable. Is it a girl's? Okay, I love this. I don't think it's vintage. It's not vintage or anything, but it just has that look to it with this Peter Pan collar. This is so fun. Okay, that is really cute. I'm not really seeing too much damage on any of these garments. So I'm thinking that it's either a mix of items that could be damaged or it's just unbranded items. That's my thought, but let me know your experience. Like I said, this is really pretty. What are you? Oh, it's just Shein. Oh my gosh, there's too much Shein in the world. Okay, so it's this shiny black floral print, silky satiny look, long maxi dress. Again, I don't see a flaw in it, but that's cute. I have had like okay luck taking Shein to Plato's Closet. I can't really send it back to ThreadUp because I think they've announced a couple times in the past couple years that they're not taking fast fashion brands, which would make sense why this stuff's in here. Okay, so this one's an XL, an unbranded XL dress. Okay, this one's really pretty actually. Look how colorful this skirt is. This is actually really cute. Wait, so that would be the top and then this would be like the long maxi skirt. I'd be willing to try that on. Not right now. This is a pair of leopard print pants, unbranded. And if I had to guess, these look like maybe a medium or a large. They've got this little bow here and it's like a jogger style where it's fitted here at the bottom. For some of the stuff that actually has no brand but has a size, I would consider taking to Play-Dohs because if I'm not going to sell it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this is, this looks like something like a world market dress, which I've sold plenty of. It, oh, maybe it's just like a tapestry. I don't even think this is clothes, guys. No? 
It is. Okay, this box. I'm sorry. It's creating some unwanted ASMR for you guys. It is the brand Silka. This is actually really cute. If this is one size fits all, your girl might try this on. It's got a V-neck, probably like a midi length that is getting tried on. So we're two for two. I might actually have some stuff to keep. That's exciting. This is another dress. What is this? Okay, okay. Maybe like, yeah, this is the two part here and then it's inched there. Again, no tags on it at all, but it's pretty, but there's no tags. And I can't tell what material this is. It doesn't feel like silk. I don't know, guys. I'm willing to list some of this stuff though. <gasps> What's this? Okay, look, whoa, look at this dress. Okay, so it's a maxi again. Hello, what brand is this? Oh my gosh, that's a really good dress. It's, um, I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it McDougal? McDougal? I've sold this brand before. This is a really expensive brand. Holy crap, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Okay, wow. So there must be some sort of flaw on here that I don't see. I mean, I see a loose string there, but hem has come out at the bottom here. Here at the warehouse, I, I employ many people besides myself. One of them um, being my friend who is also my so is love her. She's probably gonna watch this video and I'm gonna <laughs> say to you, hey friend, what do you think we can do about this? <laughs> so that's exciting. That's kind of the scenario I was hoping for guys. I'm not gonna lie. I had seen in some people's videos that they were getting some nicer pieces. Now I'm not saying you will. And I didn't think I would either as I was going through this. Okay, this is good. This is an Oscar de la Renta pink label. I think that's like a nightgown, it looks like. So that's great. I will definitely sell that. This is a BCBG Max As size 12 party dress super cute love it this is nice okay the bottom half of the box it's like it's like they put good stuff at the bottom half and at the top they were like we're just gonna make you think you got a bunch of Shein which I was okay with so <laughs> okay this is um banana monkey I think that's what it says I don't know that label but it's kind of cute still it's got this like um halter neck and oh a lace this got all the prints this has so much what would you call this like mixed media is it with is mixed media right for that tell me correct me okay what are you are you one item or two i think it's one item it looks i knew it was i should have said it it's lily pulitzer and it's a size extra large we that's my size <laughs> this really cute dress again i'm not seeing the flaw on it guys i don't know what's wrong with it so i mean obviously when i go and photograph this stuff like i'll maybe see some more flaws other than i would just see that it has some wear but it's not that bad like this is really light wear and it's not like Lily Pulitzer for Target. It's actually Lily Pulitzer and this is really pretty. So would I buy this box again? Yes, I would. 30, wait, $30 for 10 pounds. That McDougal dress should take care of more than the box. That will more than take care of the box. Maybe even the Lily Pulitzer will take more than take care of the box. So, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm happy with it. Should you buy one? I don't know. You have $30 laying around that you're willing to light on fire in case this doesn't work out, then maybe you should consider getting one. But that's it. The box is empty now. I think I showed you everything. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.